Hello everyone, it's Delt Lead, and today I am kicking off a series of shorter videos to break down all of the different ways that you can add details to your rockets to take them from bland and basic into glamorous works of art. Now, before I kick this series off, have you noticed something a little different about the channel? That's right, you can now support the channel by being a member. As a member, you get access to exclusive perks, including early access to all of my videos as they're released, and direct feedback and communication with me. So what are you waiting for? Become a member and unlock tons of awesome new benefits. Now, on with the beautification of our rockets. And what better place to start than with the general shape and design of your rockets from the foundation? Now, the reality is that function is a large part of form for rockets. A beautiful design is one that works well, meaning it's streamlined, it has an aerodynamic shape, it's efficient, and it is as practical as it is sleek. So taller and slimmer rockets tend to look better to the eye than shorter and stouter ones. Fat rockets present a large cross section to the air and as they accelerate up and out of the atmosphere they create a lot of drag. So if you do decide to add something like side boosters or if you need to make your rocket wider to accommodate a larger payload, you have to think about the size and shape of your rocket in general. In general it's better to go up than out with rockets. I think that a good ratio to start out with is an 8 to 1 ratio. So 8 meters up for every 1 meter that you make your rocket wider. Now once you've got the general proportions of your rocket sorted out, it's time to think about those smaller, more fine details in the shape, mainly the bottom of your stages. Now if you just stuck an engine onto the bottom of a fuel tank, then you've missed out on a lot of opportunities to add detail and beauty to your design. And the first and by far the easiest thing you can do to make your rocket look better is to bevel the end of your fuel tanks. A bevel is a slope from a vertical to a horizontal surface. So by adding another fuel tank section to the bottom of one of your stages, and then reducing the bottom diameter of this fuel tank, you can create a tapered look that is much better and appealing to the eye than just that hard 90 degree edge you had before. Now, before you put a inner stage back on, if this was one of your upper stages, make sure that you turn the auto size adjust off for your inner stage part. Because if you use a beveled edge on an upper stage and then you put the inner stage back on that fuel tank, the inner stage will shrink down and collapse onto the smaller diameter of your bevel. So go ahead, turn that little option off, and then use the translate tool to drag the inner stage up and cover the entire bottom of your stage for a very nice and smooth, streamlined finish. Now another thing you can do to make the bottom of your stages look better is to take the translate tool, select your engine, and move the engine up slightly so that the base of it is somewhat clipping into the fuel tank. But this is more subjective and sometimes designs look best with the engine fully exposed and out. Now once you've positioned your engines how you like them and you've adjusted the shape of your fuel tanks to your liking, you are one step closer to making your rocket a beautiful work of art. In the next video of Rocket Aesthetics, we will discuss different ways that you can take your texture game to a whole new level. I hope you found this short tutorial video helpful. If you did, please like the video and consider becoming a member of the channel. And I'd like to thank all of the supporters of the channel personally. You guys are what's keeping these videos coming. Until next time, take care and build on.